Hey, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and also those cross-watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at um, what's going to happen here in your romantic connection. So I guess this reading is more tailored to those of you who do have, I'm not trying to single anyone out, um, but I guess to those of you who do have like a romantic connection, okay, if you're romantically involved with someone, even if you're just like loosely involved with someone, or like if you're in a relationship with them, We'll see what might happen for the two of you in the near future. So we'll see what the tarot cards here predict for you and your loved one, your special person for the connection, what might be the fate or the outcome of the overall relationship. Um, this is going to be a general message um, as the reading itself is general, so it will reflect general messages. Uh, if you are after personal reading, one that's tailored to you and yourself specifically in your romantic connection, feel free to reach out and um, inquire I will provide you with my email address just below the video here so I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and here we'll take a look and see what might happen here for you and your romantic interest um, and for your relationship here okay what might happen um, what do the cards predict for the future of your love of your relationship Okay, we have the High Priestess, she's just sort of came out here. And then we have the Two of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, the King of Cups, <clears throat> the Sun, Temperance, okay, and the Five of Cups. You've got um, a fair bit of water energy here, water signs, so I feel like we've channeled your energies here. Um, some of you I can see are involved, or you will be involved here, with a um, water energy. A cancer is coming up really strong. Um, cancer someone who may have um, cancer like placement in their charts, and of course a Scorpio, and a fellow, uh, and also like a Piscean. Um, okay, so let's see what will happen for the outcome of your connection. Okay, what might be the outcome? Um, what the cards are predicting here. From what I can see, I'm not sure if some of you have already experienced this, but for others of you, I feel like you will be experiencing this. And with the Two of Swords, there's going to be some stagnation that you're going to experience. For some of you, this relationship, this connection might begin off on the wrong foot. But I don't want you to panic because sometimes the most exciting and exhilarating um, adventures and journeys actually begin on the wrong turn or begin on the wrong foot. So it's not going to be the beginning to, you know, it's not going to be that Disney-esque um, beginning to your love journey with this person. In fact, I feel like your person might even offer some resistance because I feel like... Your person is going to have a hard time figuring you out here with the High Priestess here. But then, of course, it could also be your energy. There is something about this person that uh, maybe you don't have enough certainty of or enough clarity. Maybe you feel like, hey, you want to get to know them. Um, and that's partly because they're sort of shrouded in this air of mystery. There's some allure there. Um, there's definitely a curiosity from both your end and your person's energy. Um but then I also feel like there's something here that holds your person back. So they may have abandonment issues, okay? They may have been really hurt in the past. They may have been rejected. And they um, an ex here, I feel like, has really, um, has really pained them. Because I can see that they're still carrying some form of hurt from the past. And I feel like it's because your person hasn't necessarily processed all of that pain and all of that healing that unfortunately I feel like it will in the beginning of the connection it will hinder your connection it will prevent them from getting to know you because your person is going to put up a wall um, like these walls okay your person is going to put up you're going to your person is going to be a little bit emotionally guarded but you being a water energy you probably know all that too well right um, but then I feel like something here will make your person push through it I'm not necessarily sure what this is. I feel like maybe it's got to do with the fact that um, you'll show, like you'll show a side of yourself to them that I feel like you normally wouldn't show so early on in the connection. Um, or I feel like this person might just feel like a sense of familiarity and a sense of home within you. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's going to... Because in the back of their mind, even... Because for, for some of you, I see with the Two of Swords, I actually see there being a point in your relationship where you don't communicate. You just got, you guys just stop communicating. For some of you, 
Um, I know it's probably, you know, you don't want to hear it, but I see that your person is going to ghost you guys, or your person has ghosted you in the past. I can see that with the Two of Swords. Um, don't personalize the pain here, water energies. Um, I know it's hard not to because, you know, you are personally involved with this person, but it's important for you not to internalize it because it's nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. And they're not a bad person, although ghosting is never um, nice and is never excusable. But your person has internal pain that they have to deal with. It's just this, your person has been so hurt and so burnt in the past that they're so scared of moving forward in love and they're so scared of opening themselves up again because they have once before in the past and it didn't work out so well before. So I feel like the message that I get for you guys, especially with Temperance card, is you're going to have to be really, really, really patient with your person because... Yes, your connection is going to begin on the wrong foot. Yes, your person is going to be emotionally guarded. Yes, your person is going to be um, a little bit difficult to get to know just because there is some sort of blocked energy about them. I feel like they are a great energy. I feel like they are um, quite emotional and they are quite a sensitive and a fragile energy here, um, which is why I feel like they need to have this need to really guard themselves. But if you can really be patient um, if you can really be like patient with your person and also with yourself here, I feel like what you will come to discover is a wonderful connection, a wonderful opportunity that will blossom from this. Because the three of um, the three of ones is a card of foresight. It's a card of growth. It's a card of you know um, forthcoming stability and expansion. So remember how I said it doesn't necessarily get off. Um, you don't get off to the best start, okay? It's not the most romantic start. It's not the most sweetest start. Your person might even ghost you. You'll get periods where you don't talk. For some of you, um, um, especially for Pisces Cancer here, I mean, Scorpio might also um, attest to this, but for a lot of Pisces and uh, Cancerians, I'm getting that your person here is, um, you're going to go through months. I feel like you're going to go through a period of three to six months where, they might ghost you, they might vanish, and then you guys don't communicate, okay? You might message this person and they will respond, but there's definitely mm, something that I feel like keeps them stagnated in this energy, in this sort, sort of stuckness. So you will go through you will go through quite a lengthy period of not communicating, but then you know your paths will cross here again, okay? And this time here, I think guys, this person is here to stay. Because if you if the two of you can be um patient with one another and if you can if the two of you can really trust this process and don't rush the process respect the process and if you can really get to know each other for the beautiful souls that you are this is going to be an absolutely wonderful connection this is going to be a connection that i feel like is going to this person is going to mirror you okay this person is going to teach you a lot about yourself it's going to teach you patience a lot about love a lot about um life in general and I feel like the two of you will really grow together, okay? There's a bright future here that I can see, okay? A very bright, optimistic, opportunistic future here. Um, here's the thing, though. For some of you, um, as I'm doing this reading, I feel like for, for those of you that are not in contact with this person, okay? So if you're not in contact with your said person here, if the two of you are not connecting as you want to, it's because... You guys aren't on that same emotional frequency, okay? So this all comes back into don't try to rush the process. So if you're not on that same vibrational match or that same vibrational frequency, no matter how hard and despite you know your best efforts, you won't make this happen, okay? So the two of you need to be on that same frequency. You need to be both res re re responsive and receptive. What do you do? Just uh, trust the process don't rush the process and I keep saying it because I feel like some of you really need to understand it and really need to believe it and you know um, support it because I feel like for some of you this connection is going to it's going to be a slow burning connection and like I said for some of you it's just going to get off on the wrong start but you know, as they say, a cloudy morning doesn't always signify a, a cloudy day so just because something doesn't begin off on the right foot it doesn't mean that it's a prediction of how things will go from there in fact I feel like as I've mentioned at the start of this reading I feel like in fact take comfort in the thought if your if your connection has begun out on the wrong turn 
okay, or on the wrong foot. Take comfort in that thought because what this tells me is that it's going to lead to the most romantic, to the most wonderful, to the most beautiful, to the most amazing, to the most spiritual and loving journey that you've you know you've yet to endure okay so a wrong turn is going to lead you to the most exciting exhilarating um, romantic adventure here so take note for those of you um, so what the cards predict for you is a future with this person I, I am seeing a future with this person water energies I'm seeing a beautiful future with this person for some of you I feel like this is someone that you're going to end up with Okay, this is an energy that I feel like you're going to end up with, um, especially for those of you romantics. I'm getting that this is someone whom you're going to ride off into the sunset Disney-esque style. This is someone whom you're going to have children or boys coming through here. Um, this is someone who you're going to grow old with. Okay, could be patient because why would you want to rush something that's meant to last forever? So be patient just because things are not unfolding as you want them to be or things aren't happening for you you know as you want them to be don't rush the process guys trust the process because this is your forever person guys this is your forever person okay this is someone whom you're gonna have you're gonna have several beginnings and several endings with this person i feel like there may be a bit of a fluctuating presence in your life they may come and go or be a bit of an inconsistent um uh, energy but you have to know again it's important for you to remind yourself do not personalize the pain because your person has some pain okay they need to there's some pain that they have to confront individually and although you're going to be a big part of their healing process and there will be a big part of your healing process um, at the end of the day you the two of you as individuals need to confront and heal your own like you need to sit with your own pain individually as well so when they come in and out of your life or when they pull away it's because they need some time to work on themselves so when they can come back for you they can be you know a better match for you here and match your vibrational length okay what energies i hope this reading here has been helpful for some of you guys and has been um you know um uplifting um, I just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. I will be catching up with you guys later in the week with more tarot love messages. So stay tuned. Bye for now.